Okay, so Joel chapter 1, right? Verse 5. We speak of, it says, Wake up, you drunkards, and weep. Right? Wake up, you drunkards, and weep. Mm -hmm. How can a drunk wake up? Get sober. They get sober. Mm -hmm. Right? But then again... It's almost nearly impossible to get sober without God. God is the one who gets us sober. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And remember, who are the people who are drunk in this world? Those who have their fill of the wine of the cup of wine of the adulteries and abominations of the great whore. Babylon. Babylon, right? Meaning, you drink of everything around you love this world you know what i mean exactly so there are so many christians who are drunk out of their minds Mm -hmm. to the point where they don't realize what they even signed up for Mm -hmm. when following christ they don't understand the world we live in today they i mean the perfect example would be catholicism Mm -hmm. they they think themselves a religion when in reality, it's supposed to be a relationship with Christ. You know what I mean? Anyways, and then look at this. Um, verse 6 of chapter 5 of First Thessalonians, it tells us, So then, let us not be like others, right? Because we do not belong to the night. Uh, so let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be alert and self-controlled. For those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, get drunk at night. Mm-hmm. Right? But since we belong to the day, let us be self-controlled, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Right? So when we read in Joel chapter 1 verse 5, wake up you drunkards and weep. It's almost like something happened for them to realize it's time to wake up. Not even. They're forced to wake up because now they're weeping. Mm. Right? Yeah. It's not a wake up of of joy because, oh, I get it. My eyes have been opened. It's more of, where's my bib? Mm. Where's the, where's my, where's, uh, as a child, right? Where's my parents? Where's my mom? Why am I alone in the house? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Kind of thing. The best analogy, the best example, right? But then it says, So wake up, you drunkards, and weep. Wail, all you drinkers of wine. Right? Mm-hmm. Wailing, weeping. That's, that's terrible. That's, teeth. that's literally just... Exactly, right? Mm-hmm. Wail because... Of the new wine. Oh, Wait. Jealousy. No, 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 no. Oh. Mm, mm, we're not going to go there, right? Okay. Wake up, you drunkards, and weep. Wail all you drinkers of oh, wine. Because we're the new instruments of wrath. Wail because of the new wine. For it has been snatched from your lips. That's crazy. So the blessings that they can't. Not even that. Check this out. Many Christians, I believe this is for Christians. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's many Christians and not just Christians, but I mean, bro, Israel. We were talking about Israel recently, right? How don't they miss reading on Joshua and the armies and everything? And literally now they're the, they're the tiniest nation in, in, not just the looks of it, mm. but they're literally anyone could just take over Israel yeah. if they if they put their minds to it. You know what I mean? It seems like anyone could take over Israel, yeah. and literally the only reason why Israel is still Israel is because God has still had mercy on them. Yeah. Because man, they should have they they not should like they by by their their size by their military by everything they they should have been wiped out long ago you know what i mean but no we see that they're still there so now 
these people, they wail because the old one, meaning the covenant, has been ripped from their face. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's this new one, right? And it was the covenant, it's the covenant of Christ. And they, if they don't decide not to be a part of it, they don't get that new wine. You know what I mean? It's been snatched from their lips, that old covenant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, God is faithful and, and true. So he still has mercy and still wants to save all Israel. You know what I mean? Of course. And that's why judgment begins in the house of the Lord. <clears throat> you know what I mean? But anyway, um, so... Well, because of the new wine, we understand that God says, I will pour out my spirit in the last days, right? And, and we realize that, man, Jesus literally said, you will see greater things than these. You know what I mean? Yep. You will do greater things than these. You know what I mean? To the point where uh, I've posted a video and you guys can watch it, right? <clears throat> of just four supernatural abilities, I guess, or powers God has had enabled his people to do throughout the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't be surprised if this was seen greatly in the last days, like truly through tribulation for the with the elect. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the problem with this is many churches and many Christians think themselves to be awake when in reality they're drunk. They're drunk. You know what I mean? They may not be asleep. You know what that reminds me of? When you get to, and this is obviously worldly knowledge, right? But when you get to that tipping point between tipsy and going to be drunk, usually it's, no, 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 I'm fine. I can go for another. When really you're... Yeah. Yeah. The so they're not necessarily asleep because asleep means you just completely don't know anything. Yeah. You're you're dead. You know what I mean? You're literally not present, you know, like nothing. You yeah. know what I mean? Um but to be drunk, you can't tell the time of day. You can't tell the times of the signs of times. Yeah. You can't tell nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You stumble. And you don't know what you're stumbling on. And you actually find it uh, uh, appealing to stumble. You know what I mean? So, so you literally, you, 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 you're distracted. You're drunk with your distractions. Yep. So these churches are drunk with these seducing spirits and doctrines of, oh, uh, prosperity. Yep. They're drunk off of, off of having their, their people just bench warm. You know what I mean? Having their people uh, conform to the to this world. You know what I mean? Many churches are saying, oh, we're going to follow the science. We're, like, they are drunk. Yeah. You know what I mean? And some of them are just blatantly and just utterly asleep. Yeah. Truth be told. You know what I mean? So, these churches who, who believe they're following Christ, they that they believe they're following the cloud, believe they're following the Spirit of God, all of a sudden... The last sentence, for it has been snatched from your lips. What is that? Literally the presence of the Lord, right? To the point where right now, God is with them out of mercy, out of grace. Sending people to try to talk to them. Speaking to their hearts even, because if they don't listen to, to people, like, listen to Him directly. You know what I mean? But the thing is, they've hardened their hearts so much they don't, know his voice. they don't know his voice anymore you know what i mean so they wail because of the new one when they start seeing the elect when they start seeing this new wine literally completely and you guys need to watch the video of the four supernatural powers and abil or abilities god had given uh, enabled his people to to witness and testify on like you will understand why these people would end up even killing the body of christ the true body of christ thinking they do a service to god you know what i mean because they're so drunk they wail because of the new one for it has been snatched from their lips
So in a way, you're right. It would be out of jealousy. Yeah. You know what I mean? But in a way, we understand, like, just like how we don't, we, we as humans don't fully grasp the concept of love. Yeah. I don't think we understand the full concept of jealousy either. Oh, yeah. Because in reality, I think Saul later then turned to Paul killed the church of Christ out of jealousy in a way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was it's it's like it's like someone who's been cheated on, right? Mm -hmm. The Bible says, "Do not covet someone else's wife," right? And don't uh, don't be an adulterer because man, who can calm down the fire of this jealous man? Right? Meaning jealousy then turns to a complete another utter rage. Yeah. It's not just a, a, a it's so strange. It's it's completely just but yeah, that that's pretty that's crazy. I think this is a, a little sneak peek of what like literally going head to head. No longer we're not even talking like uh Marcus Rogers says, the children of faith versus the lowercase g gods of science you know what i mean now it's literally in the house yeah this is this is judgment begins in the house of the lord type deal yeah. but now this is those who claim themselves children of god which in 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 revelations it says they claimed themselves to be jews but they're really from the synagogue of satan yeah. right and when they finally encounter people who are literally working in miraculous ways out of the grace and mercy, and literally because they walk with Christ, and they find out, wait, why don't I? Oh, they, they make any other excuse other than the fact that maybe I don't walk with Christ. Maybe yeah. I don't know Christ. Yeah. Then they begin to completely just, I don't know, they're going to completely... <laughs> Bro, it's gonna get go back to the Pharisees persecuting the church in the beginning. You know what I mean? That's crazy though.